Welcome, everybody. Welcome, fellow patriots. Welcome, fellow deplorables. Welcome, fellow drugs to society. Welcome, all you rock dwellers. And welcome, all you hateful people who celebrate the president. You're always welcome here at the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. I'm Rick Trader, your host, and my co-host today is the doctor for the republic, Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh. Nasser, welcome back to your Conservative Commandos. Thank you, Rick. Pleasure to be here. And let's just get it started by saying it's just another great day to be alive and well and free and living in the United States of America, the greatest country in the history of the world. You've got the sign behind you, the American flag. I've got one behind me and wrapped around my neck as well. <laughs> let's let's get started. I, I can't. It's I'm raring to go, Rick. Raring to go. All right. You know, we could talk about while well, the media, the media, you know, for two years, it was it was Russia, 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 Mueller, Mueller, Mueller. Nasser, now it's impeach, impeach, impeach. You know, you're right. Um, this is something that's been continuing on since uh, I think it was um, June 16th, 2015, as soon as uh, then candidate Trump, you know, came coming down Trump Towers. Mm -hmm. But. It's gone on from, you know, in uh, terms of what happened with the Hollywood tape. It was about what he was doing, women, women, women. Then it was about porn star, porn star, porn star. Then it was about Federal Election Committee violations, violations, violations. And obviously it was Russia, Russia, Russia. Now it's, you know, now it's the next thing. Racist, racist, racist. I mean, impeach, impeach, impeach. I mean, that's everything that they can sort of take to. And then... Everyone's in lockstep and they're doing and it's just something to think about, Rick. Think about this. And I heard this a little bit um, when I was driving early on before coming in to do the show. And this is um, Rush was on and he was talking about that back then when he started during the Clinton years, he said Bill Clinton actually called in one time when he was flying in to I, I think he said Missouri or someplace where he was doing an event. He actually called in the radio station where Rush was at, mm -hmm. and basically was trying to tell the general manager in charge, saying, look, this guy's on for three hours. I don't have a chance to rebut or whizzle fact checkers or whatever. And he was complaining about that. And Rush was basically saying that that was one, he was like, he was like that blue dot, you know, the, the red dot in a sea of blue at that time with all the major networks. Because, you know, the cable companies hadn't come around until the later 90s or in 97 with Fox and everything. And he was saying that was just one station, his for three hours, that was going on the attack, obviously, for the conservatives. Can This is for the last three years almost, Rick. This is 24-7, not only coming from the mainstream media like ABC, NBC, and CBS, but now you've got the cable news stations. Now you've got the press You've got all the bloggers and the vloggers and Twitter and Instagram and all the other stuff out there. I don't think there's another Republican candidate or even a Democratic candidate out there, Rick, that could weather this storm for 24-7. And here's another thing. To think you're the strongest, you're, you are the most powerful person in the world. And other than your family, probably, with the things that have gone in the White House, You've got to be thinking each and every single day, who's out there that I can really trust? Because you know what the deep state has done to him. I mean, it is amazing what this man has been able to accomplish with every, that target, not only on his back, but on his front every well, single day, 24-7. Well, now, sir, he, <laughs> you might think, well, this was just the Democrats, but even no. his own party, even exactly. his own party has obstructed him even his own party has criticized him and people that he thought were close to him and on his side eventually okay there was a he found out that hey look that's what i think when they talk about the chaos that is coming because sometimes i think he feels like he's got to be out there put everything out there and directly implement it right to the people because you know he's attacking it on all fronts mm -hmm. he's attacking it on the political side He's attacking it on the domestic side, and he's also helping us attack it on the cultural war side because he understands, guess what, the culture war needs to be fought too. 
because that's what's affecting our youngsters and children and the millennials and whatever. And if we don't have somebody fighting the culture wars, I don't think the political wars are going to be won e- either. Well, you're, you're absolutely, absolutely right about that. Well, Nasser, since the last time you and I uh, spoke together, was that Climate Town Hall. Did you watch it, Nasser? Did you sit through all seven hours of it? You know, the, the funny thing was is I didn't realize it was going to be seven hours. I thought they <laughs> were didn't. coming on. I thought seven people were coming on for an hour, not ten people for seven hours. Yeah. But I sort of went in and out and then obviously went like everybody else and just tried to see the stuff that you wanted to see on the YouTube you know, videos. But I'm telling you what, these people are absolutely intercoursing nuts. <laughs> Glad you kept it clean. Glad you kept it clean. I mean, I don't know how much further left you could go without falling off the face of the earth. I mean, they were promising everything, making sure that they got rid of everything that has made this country great. You know what? If you put a list up of everything that is that makes America great, everything that's going to make America great, just put it in a box. And then just basically say Democrats don't want it. I mean, it's as simple as that. Well, it's yeah, as simple as that. Well, Nasser, I'm glad America has an opportunity to see and hear from these ridiculous people and their ridiculous ideas. And it continued. It continued after after the uh, the climate change summit or whatever they call it on on CNN, Liz Warren, last Friday, which was after, came out and said on her first day as president, she's going to sign an executive order, uh, a moratorium on, on signing all gas and oil leases offshore and on federal lands, and that she would totally ban fracking. To which I replied to her tweet, and on the first day of your presidency, you are going to destroy our economy and the American way of life. You know, Nasser, these people who are at war against energy, who are at war against fossil fuels, have no idea what they're, what they're proposing. They want wind and solar, and that's all they want. Nuclear energy isn't even an option. Think of everything, everything, everything that is dependent on gas and oil. Think of, think of not just your car, not just your truck, but think of your job. Think yes. of everything you eat is transported by something that uses fuel. And you might say, well, electricity, well, how do you think you make electricity? <laughs> you, you, you make electricity with fossil fuels. Now, Nasser, I'm all for clean air. I'm for clean water. But I don't think that we've had... Our, our air is clean. Our water is clean. And I don't think that anything they're going to do is going to make it any cleaner than it is right now. You know, the idea that they won't even consider nuclear. I'm for, you know, I'm Absolutely. for clean energy. Why can't nuclear energy be part of that? Nuclear energy is cheap. Nuclear energy is plentiful. And you'll hear the naysayers talk about Three Mile Island in Chernobyl. Well, that technology, Nasser, that technology is 50, 60 years old. I'm sure the technology is much better today. Nasser, we got to take a quick break and then talk a little bit about our guests. Let our audience know who our guests are and what we're going to be talking about. But you are listening and watching the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. Today's show, like all our shows, is being brought to you by the First Amendment, protected by the Second. Nasser and I will be right back. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? 
Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The Secret War is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. And once again, welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show. I'm Rick Trader. My co-host is Dr. Wright, the doctor for the Republic, Dr. Nasser Sheikh. And, you know, the hallmark of our show is our great guests. And if, if you know of someone you'd like to refer as a guest, or maybe you yourself would like to be a guest here on Conservative Commandos Radio Show, send an email to me. It's rick at conservativecommandosradioshow.com. Hey, I know it's long, but it's easy. It's just Rick, that's me, at Conservative Commandos Radio Show. And Nasser, speaking of our guest, we've got three great guests joining us. We do. Our first guest is going to be joining us from India, all the way from India. His name is Vijay Jayaraj. He uh, finished his Master's in Environmental Science from the University of East Anglia, and he's going to be talking to us about his article, The Mainstream Media Hijack Hurricane Dorian for Climate Change Alarm. This was an article that was in townhall.com. Secondly, we're going to have Carrie Sheffield, who's a visiting fellow from the Independent Women's Forum. Carrie's going to be talking to us about an article that she wrote about how Elizabeth Warren is making the same mistakes that Hillary Clinton did. And finally, we've got Rich Noyes, who is currently the research director at the Media Research Center. And he's going to be talking to us about a absolutely fantastic um, report, uh, article that you can talk about. And it's about the time involved. And it is Campaign 2020, TV's war against Trump leaves little time for the Democrats. So, again, three great guests coming up. So don't miss any of them, folks. All right. Indeed, indeed, indeed. Well, Nasser, the left and their lunacy. You know, when you think you've heard it all, when you think you've seen it all, the left always comes up with something new. And, <laughs> and I think the newest thing is James Bond. 
Yes. They're taking an icon like James Bond. They want to change James, don't they? They do. And um, this all started with, I think, uh, somehow at some one of these, you know, hoity polloi, these snooty things over in Europe, they somehow corralled Pierce Brosnan. And, you know, here's what's happening, folks. These people, they want to be loved. They've been out of the media for a long time. The last thing Pierce Brosnan did of any substance, I think, was in Miss Doubtfire, okay, when he was playing the husband role, you know, trying to muscle in on the family, supposedly. And a Hollywood reporter asked him and said, what do you think about the next James Bond actor if we decide to make James Bond a woman? And he said, sure, the men have had their time. Let's go for it. Now, this is just being woke in today's society because, you know what, Uh. if he would have said no... You know what would have happened on his Twitter feed? They would have said he is basically a misogynist. It's a patriarchal society. Sexist. And sexist. You know, they don't want that. And on top of it, you know, typical white privilege, you know, throw that on yes. top of it. And the easiest answer, so you don't get any, because that's, that's where he lives in. That's the society that he lives in. And so that, you know, but at one time, remember they were thinking they were, they were going to make him gay? No, I mean, there was I thought. No, I yeah, really, they, they, yes, there no, was a thought no, of no, making no. him gay. They yes, were going to make absolutely James a gay Bond. James Bond. Yeah. Well, you know how he does. Remember how James Bond, Sean Connery, that muscular yes. guy. Remember yes. how he said, "Oh, the things I do for God and country." Yes. <laughs> well, I can't imagine somebody <laughs> saying that. <laughs> well, I mean, but this is what's going on now. They attack that, every that, cultural that was icon. In, uh, Goldfinger, wasn't it? I think he well. I that think every say. movie he had to do something for God and country. <laughs> but, <you know. laughs> and it <But> I mean, <laughs> always involved a beautiful, beautiful woman. Not only that, but if you go back and you look at some of the names they gave women, you know, on those shows. Yeah, well, we I don't even, know if we can. Yeah, I don't, I don't know. know. If, I don't know if we can uh, even say what. I guess we the could. The lady's name. No, don't, don't. We don't want to get in trouble with the censors here. But uh, the the character in Goldfinger, the female character yes. in Goldfinger, uh, we could say her name was Miss Cat. Galore. Yeah, Cat Galore. That, mm, okay, there you go. <laughs> Kitty Galore. Kitty Galore. Kitty Galore. I, oh, you know, goodness. but, uh, you know. Okay, all right. <laughs> a new low for this show, a new low for the show. But after all, you know, the Democrats are always reaching new lows, okay? Five, it's right. They're text. just trying to attack any cultural icon they can, whether it's political, whether it's social, whether it's historical. If it's something that the conservatives like, if it's something that's right about this country, that's great about this country, or somewhere on there, they just want to knock it right off its pedestal. Political correctness. Oh, the, the ruination of our society. Absolutely. Five Texas citizens sue the city of San Antonio. Is that unusual, Nasser? Well, this is something that we were talking about, I think, uh, a few weeks back. And it was about where the airport in San Antonio did not want to have a Chick-fil-A. And we were talking about this story, I think, a couple of weeks back, too, about where in Kansas City, the student union and the professors didn't want this, the Chick-fil-A to be moved from the basement to a more notable location. So they're going after these institutions that are, again, the rock bed of America. I mean, you know, and Chick-fil-A, you want a real honest-to-goodness chicken sandwich? But the reason is it's a, Chris, it's a Christian institution. It is some, they, they have their views. But they will allow anybody to go in, whether you're gay, straight, white, black, green, brown. Yep. I mean, religious, non-religious, doesn't matter. You want nope. a chicken sandwich? <laughs> You'll get a chicken sandwich. And, but and by they, the way, in my opinion, it's the best chicken it's the sandwich, best chicken sandwich to come out of any fast food restaurant, bar none. And they tell you up front, they give money to a lot of well-deserved causes out there. Yep. And you know what? This is a free country. You can give your money to wherever. So basically what happened is, is that the city of San Antonio landed itself in some hot water. Five citizens have decided that on top of the lawsuit that's being brought by the state, these are coming from the public citizenry. And they've taken it now to basically say in this lawsuit that um, Chick-fil-A needs to stop. 
they can't basically effectively ban any business from doing business just based on what their thoughts are or who they decide to back or who they Wait, give money you, to. So that's what's going on, too. The city, so the city of San Antonio must stop, or San Antonio. Cor San Antonio, because yeah. their decision was to ban this uh, Chick-fil-A in the right. airport. And so it's a public use. The FAA actually was called in to do a um, to basically go in and do the investigation. They found out that the people in charge, uh, you know, of the city, um, basically uh, uh, on the city council, were wrong, and they can't do that. If these guys are accessing public funds to build a public airport, I mean, this isn't a private airport. This is a publicly funded, government funded airport. They took grants and money from the government to yep. build this airport. They can't do it. So now you got the citizens involved. So this is great. This is exactly what the city, what we were told. We the people. We you the can people. fight back. And so these five citizens, good for them, good on you to go out there. Well, you know, lawsuit. I've said Let's this. See what happens. I've said this before. I think that we conservatives have got to start using the courts just like the liberals do. Absolutely. You know, if they don't Absolutely. like something, they go right to court and Congratulations to these five citizens of Texas. Hey, Nasser, we got to take a break, get our first guest on. And you are listening and watching the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. On the other side, uh, excuse me, on the other side, we're going to be speaking with v Vijay Jairat, and he's written a very interesting article, Mainstream Media Hijack. Hurricane Dorian for a climate change alarm. Don't go away. We'll be right back with our first guest right after this plate. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I've been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The Secret War is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. 
AM FM 24 7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting, and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad, and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar, and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. And welcome back. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dr. Wright, the doctor for the Republic, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. And for rebroadcast of our show, check out our website, ccrshow.com. That's ccrshow.com. And don't forget to like us, friend us, and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And now, sir, we do have our first guest of the day with us. And I think this is the, the, the guest the farthest away from us. But uh, please make that introduction. Well, well absolutely. We have VJ Jayaraj who did his postgraduate work in environmental science, yeah, doing a master's in that, from the University of East Anglia in England. He's also a research contributor for the Cornwall Alliance for the Stewardship of Creation. BJ, welcome to the Conserve Commandos radio show. It's my pleasure being with you guys, yeah. Well, great. We wanted to talk to you about your article that you had in townhall.com, the mainstream media hijack Hurricane Dorian for climate change alarm. But before we get into that, for those of our viewers that are watching us on our TV network and on our radio network around the United States and around the globe for that matter, could you give us an idea what exactly is the Cornwall Alliance for the Stewardship of Creation? I looked it up a little bit just to sort of get myself, but please uh, introduce us to that group that you're a part of. Uh, Yeah, Uh, Cornwall is an organization that is committed to uh, each people about the reality of uh, the environmental issues around us, especially uh, to the church. We cater to the church. And also, we believe that uh, uh, a biblical stewardship of creation, which is an important theological aspect, uh, should be uh, put out there in the mainstream media and uh, in the policies that are being made. Uh, what we have right now is uh, very biased and uh, uh, radical uh, environmentalism that we see out there. And uh, we strive hard to uh, uh, bring the realistic perspective on uh, environmental issues to the people out there. Well, you know what? It's coming about, and I, before I get into your article, I want to ask you, it's, we're coming almost about 10 years now, it'll be November of this year, where um, 
East Anglia University was embroiled in a little bit of a of a uh, hockey stick matter, so to speak, on climate change or whatever. What was your take on that? I presume you had um, finished schooling after that, or were you? What What was that timeline, so to speak? Um, I was there when it happened. Uh, it's better known as the Climate Gate scandal. Right. So, on a particular day, we were all asked to reset our passwords, and when we asked, the news came out that the emails have been leaked, and what appeared to be a of data. By one of the scientists there, uh, so I was there right in the action, and uh, classes. One of the classes had to be suspended by the very same person who was involved in that. So uh, from then on, yeah, uh, from then on, I took a very realistic approach towards climate change, uh, uh, not to give in to the um, popular media perspective that's out there. So yeah, it was a, a very interesting experience. Well, you know, get, going on that subject matter, um, I find this extremely interesting. How was it that? your, let's say, perception, and like you said, you were sort of coming from this Judeo-Christian version of, of trying to establish that there should be a role, um, you know, in terms of, uh, you, know, you know, for weather from the, Judeo, from the Judeo-Christian perspective. How did that play along with the university? Were you just one among many with the same attitude, or were you sort of the lone person out there, out on the limb, so, out on the ledge, so to speak, uh, you know, in regards to this? Yeah, I, I found uh, similar people uh, like me who had a Judeo-Christian worldview. But the problem is, at in, uh, most universities now, uh, your worldview is just with you. You can either challenge the professors, uh, you can either challenge the uh, de facto principles and uh, beliefs that are being indoctrinated into students. So uh, that was that was the situation there as well. Uh, so once I I had to wait until I graduated uh, to put out my opinion. Mm. Yeah. Okay, okay. Well, that's good. Now, in your article, one of the things you stress is that we've all been told, and this is what the alt-left media, the mainstream media, what I call, you know, the entire, um, you know, whether it's academia, it's Hollywood, you know, the movies they make, what academia tells out there. One of the things is that the National Oceanic and Atmospheric Administration talks about the U.S. hurricanes. Could you give our listening and viewing audience an idea what is the truth in regards to Because we've been told that those have all been increasing by, you know, tenfold, a hundredfold. What is the truth in regards to actual hurricanes from a specified date until present time? Uh, I think the basic rule of uh, when it comes to this issue is to uh, let people know that there are official government sites where you have the actual data. So you don't have to uh, go to the left or the right. You just have to go to the government data, and uh, uh, especially uh, the dash, uh, NOAA uh, uh, and the National uh, Center for Hurricane. I believe it's natural, uh, National Hurricane Center there. Uh, yeah. So uh, the data says that the major hurricanes, which can be categorized as Category 3, 4, and 5, uh, these hur hurricanes have been reducing not just in their frequency, but also in their intensity. Uh, so intensity is the strength of it, uh, as opposed to, say, category 1 and 2. Uh, you have the strength 3, 4, and 5. All these have been reducing, and not just in the United States, but all across the globe. And that's what IPCC, the official uh, body of United Nations, which is uh, responsible for uh, putting out climate data, uh, said recently in their 2018 special report. Uh, and they clearly mentioned that there has been observed a, a decreasing trend in global tropical cyclones. And when it comes to the United States, uh, in the past 50 years, there has been a, a steady decline, uh, which has been well attested by uh, numerous scientists, and the data is out there on their website. Now, Vijay, why do you think it is? I mean, to give an idea, uh, you've, you're obviously in, you know, in this uh, arena. Do you think that the driving factor for this, is it just like in politics and other places, it's power? I can't, I don't know, in, in academia, power is that thirst questing, you know, grab that people want to take a hold of. But money, prestige, grants, that kind of stuff, I mean, that can lead to that kind of power. Do you see this uh, in, in other aspects when you're dealing with this type of thing, with other, um, you know, persons in this whole climatology war that's that, that's sort of been occurring between left and right. And as you, and as you were saying, it shouldn't be a left-right thing. This should just be 
the scientific, let the scientists do it. But unfortunately, they have taken sides. And, and I think money is a driving factor. Do you agree or am I basically um, a little outside the box on this? Uh, I would I would partially agree with you, but I would also add that it's about uh, power as well, not just the money, but also power. Uh, as you rightly put it, uh, from a scientific perspective, uh, I'm not comfortable with the fact that uh, the entire climate change movement uh, is controlled by a handful of people, and uh, uh, it's it's by a government organization called IPCC. Uh, it's a United Nations official agency. So when you involve government in anything and they control you, uh, it obviously leads to uh, a lot of politics. And uh, climate change has gone far deep into politics. Uh, even a layman would, would understand that it's no longer a scientific debate. Now, one of the things that early on, one of the first questions I asked you was, is the Cornwall Alliance for the Stewardship of Creation, which is sort of a a, um, a group out there which basically bases a lot of its... Um, I guess, uh, examples in terms of the Judeo-Christian outlook. How would you feel about the detractors if I took the other side to say that, well, why are you bringing religion into science? Because this is one of those things where, you know, the secularists say you, not everybody believes in religion. And, you know, you just can't say, well, it's on faith because some supreme being or a creator decide to do all of this. So how do you sort of counteract that, you know, that question? Because, it is people are going to be taking something on faith, but others say, I need to have concrete evidence. There has to be an absolute axiom. There has to be a law, like the law of gravity that we can actually see for ourselves, not because you're telling us just to take it on faith. Yeah. Uh, uh, there are two parts to my answer. Uh, one would be the, uh, the foundations of science, which are based in uh, the Judeo-Christian uh, worldview. Uh, so, uh, the Judeo-Christian worldview gave the foundations uh, of a stable world, and uh, most of the earliest scientific principles were based on it. Uh, so uh, anyone who claims that uh, religion influences science in a bad way does not understand the basics of or the evolution of modern science. Uh, and the other part is none, none of the uh, 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 stuff that Cornwall uh, recommends or advocates uh, stands in opposition to science. Uh, it's, a, it's a common uh, myth uh, when people say that science and religion are opposed, uh, especially the Judeo-Christian worldview does not oppose science in any way. Uh, Judeo-Christian world, worldview is a faith-based uh, worldview, and science is science. Uh, so uh, the Bible uh, describes the world, and uh, the science is actually the details of the world. So uh, there is no contradictions in what the Cornwall Alliance says. It just reiterates the basics and the foundations of science, uh, thereby helping advance science uh, much more faster. Here on the Conservative Commandos radio show, our guest is Vijay uh, Jairaj, and he is with the Cornwall Alliance for the Stewardship of Creation. We're discussing an article that Vijay has written, Mainstream Media Hijack Hurricane Dorian, for a climate change alarm. VJ, we got to take a quick break. Could you hold on for just a few moments for us, please, while we do a little business? And you are listening and watching the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dr. Wright, the doctor for the Republic, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. Don't go away. We'll be back with more with our guest right after this break. AMFM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. 
Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar, and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. And welcome back. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. We always love to give a shout out to the folks who listen to us on radio stations in Jacksonville, Tampa, and the Villages, Florida, Las Vegas and Reno, Macon, Georgia, Lancaster and Pittsburgh, Boulder and Colorado Springs, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Long Beach, California, Arlington, Virginia, and Washington, D.C., and also seen on the AUN television network. Our guest this segment is... Vijay Jayaraj, he's a research contributor for the Cornwall Alliance for the Stewardship of Creation, and he's written a very interesting article, which uh, appeared in Town Hall. The mainstream media hijack Hurricane Dorian for a climate change alarm. Vijay, thank you for holding through that break. We appreciate your time. Uh, Vijay, in your article, you wrote, you write in here, not surprisingly, Climate change alarmists are seizing the opportunity to promote unfounded fears. Laura Tenenbaum decreed, quote, global warming causes more intense hurricane and suggests that more are on the way. Grist quipped, another hurricane, how climate disasters can give us compassion fatigue. And Grist even went as far as to blame Hurricane Dorian on President Trump for being complicit. Well, with that, with that, VJ, I did a little research on my own. And if we want to blame Hurricane Dorian or Donald Trump, let's go back a few years before that and see what happened during the Obama administration. In 2009, the first hurricane season of the Obama administration, there were 11 tropical storms and hurricanes. 2010, 21. There were 21 hurricanes and tropical storms. 2011, 20. 2012, 19. 2013, 15. So, VJ, is it safe to say if we want to blame the president for Dorian, we got to blame Barack Obama for all those hurricanes and tropical storms? Yeah, you're right. Uh, and that's the uh, hypocrisy of the mainstream media. Uh, and you and me, like everybody out there knows that you cannot blame a president, be it left or right. You cannot blame a president for uh, a tropical cyclone. And, uh, and there is no evidence to prove that, that, that cyclones are uh, increasing or their intensity is getting uh, better. We don't have any evidence to prove that. And I would just like to bring back the uh, 2018 uh, report by IPCC because uh, United Nations IPCC is considered the the authoritative body on climate information. So they themselves acknowledge that there has been a decreasing trend in cyclones. And uh, I also want, would like to bring to your attention there are uh, two aspects to cyclones. One, cyclones in the field, another cyclones that make landfall. If you consider the major cyclones that have made landfall in the US, mm-hmm. the highest number is 10, and it happened between 1940 and 1950. 
So uh, for those was, who you know, say that... VJ, that was even before I was born. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. VJ, you know, when you, uh, not to interrupt you, but you, when you bring up that fact, there's uh, a couple of things I think that we need to consider. When you say that that uh, increase in, in cyclones and hurricanes in the years from 40 to 50, this was even before the years of weather satellites. So is it safe to say there could have been other hurricanes, other tropical storms that didn't affect land that... Uh, there could have even been more? Uh, that you, you're right, yeah. We know only about the uh, hurricanes that made landfall, yeah. Right, right. Yeah, and, you're right, yeah. Vijay, in your article, you write, is doing a result of, quote, climate change? Well, yes, insofar as, as every hurricane forms due to changes in climate conditions that bring favorable conditions for a hurricane. Well, could you explain for our audience what the those changing conditions would be? Uh, I'm I'm not a uh, I'm not a, a, a tropical cyclone expert per se, uh, but uh, I can I can tell you that uh, I've only observed the facts as as to whether the changes in mm -hmm. the global average temperature mm -hmm. in the past six to seven decades have has it had any impact on the formation of cyclones, and the evidence says no. Uh, so I don't. I think it's uh, uh, there are experts uh, who uh, specialize in this. I'm not a hurricane or cyclone expert, but I can safely say uh, from the experts that the change in global average temperature uh, over the past, you can even say, hundred years has not caused any change except a decline in the formation of hurricanes. VJ, when you talk about hurricane, when you talk about cyclone, what's the difference? Explain that for our audience. Um, hurricanes are uh, uh, major ones, category three, four, and five, and uh, cy cyclones uh, are much. I, I believe they are much, much smaller, and uh, also you have the typhoons. Um, so yeah, like. Well, does it have yes, to do in what part of the world these storms take place? Yeah, yeah. Uh, you have the typhoon uh, that uh, happened in Japan recently. Mm -hmm. They call it the typhoon there. Uh, none of the media there mentions cyclone or hurricane. They call it the typhoon. Yeah, it, it does. The name does vary. Uh, but I, I must admit that I'm not an expert in the terminology. Of it. Well, you know, I'm not an expert in in weather either i gotta admit that vj but one thing I, I do love and i wouldn't call myself an expert in but i do love history and because of history believe it or not i believe in climate change i really do and i'll tell you why and they probably educated you this at the university of east anglica uh, and that is in the last 100,000 years there have been four major ice ages, four major ice ages. About every 25,000 years, they seem to happen. And the last one was about 12,000 years ago. And at that time, there was a sheet of ice that covered North America, all the way down to Princeton, New Jersey. That would be halfway down North America. In some places, this ice sheet was over two miles thick. So if we, mankind, is causing climate change today, I wonder what they were heating their homes with or what they were fueling their automobiles or industry with at that time that melted all that ice. And what I'm getting at, VJ, is I believe in climate change. I don't think that mankind has anything to do with it. VJ, am I thinking too far outside the box? Uh, no, you are right, actually. Uh, the current period is called Holocene, and it was preceded by a glacial period, and the next period is also a glacial period. So we are in the most optimum temperature for human civilization right now, and we should be thankful for that, not sorry for the increasing temperature. Why should we and, be thankful? Uh, yeah, actually, Why should we be thankful? We have the highest life expectancy rate in the history of Earth. And uh, our plants are growing faster, and we produce record agricultural output every year. Food. Yeah. We live by food. So everything is fine. 
You know, VJ, I also happen to believe <clears throat> a lot of this hype is the fact that right now in the United States, we have a 24 hour, 24 hour weather <laughs> network, not just a 24 hour weather station or not just a 24 hour, but a 24 hour weather network called Weather Channel. And you know what, VJ and, and, and Nasser, to bring people to these stations, they've got to hype the weather. They really have to talk up the weather and they have to make it suspenseful because they need all those people to come back to the Weather Channel to see their commercials, to sell products and goods. Again, VJ, do you think I'm right here? Do you think it's, it's more hype than anything? And a lot of it has to do with the, the media today hyping weather events that 30 years ago, 20 years ago, I don't know, before the Weather Channel, it, it used to be at 6 o'clock, we turned on our TV to watch it, a two-minute weather broadcast. But, VJ, I believe it's the media that's hyping this. You think I'm far off base, VJ? Um, you're not far off. Uh, it's... It's uh, pretty common nowadays. Uh, even last week, one of the main broadcasters in Australia, uh, the weather person was uh, found uh, to indoctrinate climate change and global warming into everyday weather reporting. So well, it is very common practice now. Uh, they, they talk a lot about climate af affecting weather, uh, while uh, it's all, as you know, like just to hype, just to p get the people involved yeah. and... Uh, the news sells on one side and you sell the weather on the other side. You combine both and you create a hysteria. Vijay Jayaraj, we want to thank you so much for joining us here on Conservative Commandos Radio Show. For our audience to follow your work and to read the things that you write, where can they go? Uh, yeah, they can go to cornwallalliance.org. Uh, so most of my work is published there. And I also write for other uh, news outlets just town hall and uh, American thinker. Yeah. And VJ, for our audience, please spell your name. Uh, my name is uh, V I J A Y V J. And your last name? And my last, yeah, uh, it's J A Y A R A J. Raj. VJ Jayaraj, again, we want to thank you so much for joining us. I think. All the way from, from India. Nasser, isn't technology wonderful? I love technology. Unbelievable. I love the day that we live in to be able to speak with gentlemen, knowledgeable gentlemen like VJ. And you are listening and watching the Conservative Commandos radio show. I'm Rick Trader. My co-host is Dr. Wright, the doctor for the Republic, Dr. Nasser Sheikh. Don't go away. We will be right back with our next guest right after this break. Thank you, VJ. Appreciate you, buddy. VJ, that was great. Thank you so much. Thank you. Thank you. Thank you so much Take for care. joining us. Stay safe. Yeah, thank you. Bye-bye. I'll stay online. No, yeah. you can drop off now. Okay, thank you. Bye-bye. Bye-bye. Thank you, Nasser. Nasser, hello, hello, talk to me. <laughs> Are you there? I'm here. I was wondering. I was wondering if you would want to do the show with Sharon on Wednesday. So you would be doing it tomorrow with me. And uh, Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today.
My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The Secret War is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. AMFM 24-7 Roku Channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku Channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku Channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting, and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad, and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar, and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. 
Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. And once again, we want to thank you for staying with us. This is the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dr. Wright, the doctor for the Republic, and that is Dr. Nasser Sheikh and yours truly, Rick Trader. And for rebroadcasts of our show, please check out our website, ccrshow.com. That's ccrshow.com. You'll find our radio show there and our TV show there, as well as a lot of terrific articles and a lot of great information. And now, sir, our next guest is with us. Please make her feel welcome. Thank you, Rick. We have Carrie Sheffield, who's a visiting fellow from the Independent Women's Forum. She's also the national editor for Accuracy in Media, and she's the founder of Bold, which is a digital television news network. She also co-hosts a bipartisan talk show called Bold TV. She's also worked for The Hill, uh, talking about Congress. She's also was a founding reporter at Politico as well. She has written in every journal, every article, every media means you can think of out there. So, Carrie, welcome to the Conserve Commandos radio show. Hey, guys. Thanks for having me. And just as a note, uh, I'm not a bold anymore, um, but I, uh, just for your update. But I am very much happy to be here and uh, appreciate you guys listening. Great. We, All right. Or Thanks I'm for giving us an update. Boys, one of whom is autistic. Uh, and as a parent, when you what have your kids drinking water or what using... What am I hearing? I don't uh, know where that I was coming hear. from. I don't know what that was. Something about drinking water. <laughs> <laughs> okay. I think that was... I had my CNN article up and then they had the CNN video playing. Oh, gotcha, uh, gotcha. Uh, I just closed out of it because I wanted to make sure I had the text of the article when you were talking to me about it. And then and then they just had um, Jake Tapper talking. I'm sorry. <laughs> That's all right. <laughs> it's always nice to hear something from fake Yapper. Anyway, so <laughs> let's go. Your article actually was the one that you wrote about Elizabeth Warren makes a mistake that Hillary Clinton did. So, Carrie, let me start off by asking. Based on your article, what would you say the first biggest mistake that you think that Elizabeth Warren is making, other than obviously talking to Hillary Clinton, a three-time loser? But in your estimate, besides that, list, no, list number one, in your opinion, what would it be? Well, number one is that she's embracing socialism. She's embracing government as the solution uh, to problems when we know, and this is in particular, we were looking at the CNN climate change town hall, uh, and Elizabeth Warren's response to everything was to grow the government as much as possible and to expand and uh, basically constrict and control the private sector uh, as much as possible to uh, put as many burdens and constrictions and, you know, all types of proposals in taxpayer spending. She said $3 trillion in new taxpayer spending in the next 10 years. Um, and then she also wants to ban offshore oil drilling. And we all know at the end of the day, this is gonna hurt families because it jacks up the price of gas. It jacks up the price of energy. Uh, so that's that's the biggest problem is just the, the philosophical approach the government's the answer. Well, if you're taking a look, you know, one thing I talk about that the alt-left media, what I call the Democratic State Party controlled media, the you know, this entire media conglomerate that's out there, they try to make it look like that all of us are kind of idiots, you know, we're all stupid, we're just a bunch of peons, we have no idea what's happening. And they try to tell us that there's 20 viable candidates out there for the Democratic Party. Now they've pared it down to 10 or maybe a dozen we all know this is a three-person race. Out of what lane do you think that Warren is going to try to take? Because it looks like that she's sort of caught up within the margin of error to Joe Biden. And it looks like she's a couple of points even ahead of Bernie Sanders. So in your opinion, do you feel that even with all the mistakes that she's making, that she's still got a chance to be the nominee for the Democratic Party? 
Yeah, I, I think that there's a very real chance because the more and more we see Joe Biden stumbling, you know, his eye bleeding during the scene in Tom Hall, uh, the, the ability for him to, to make the most simple sentences way too uh, complex and to, to jumble his words into word salad, um, the more that makes her look lucid and articulate and more put together than Bernie Sanders. Because I think that that's the sort of lane, she would sort of be kind of the in-between where she's, she's promising the language of a revolutionary, but she's, she's more palatable given that professorial persona uh, than someone like Bernie Sanders. So I think that that's kind of, she wants to, you know, and she's been a senator, she's been a Harvard professor, so she's checked those more quote-unquote establishment boxes the way that Joe Biden does, uh, but she's also got the language of a revolutionary the way Bernie Sanders does, because she is, I think, uh, far more extreme than, than uh, Joe Biden, um, and that's part of why she has gotten, in my opinion, um, a lot of small donor support uh, that we saw similar to Bernie Sanders in 16. Well, you know, you, knew, you use that word revolutionary, and I think we should go back and there's another word, evolutionary. And I think this all started on Obama's watch, where he made a couple of, and, you know, people would say that, you know, these were maybe some mistakes or some gaps, but I think they truly started to really, the left, truly started to say who they were when we had President Barack Obama previously say, you know, hey, you didn't build that, or to Joe the Plumber, you know, we have to spread the wealth around. And one of the things that we're seeing now from every candidate on the left is they're not hiding anymore. They're telling us exactly what they want to do. There's no subterfuge. There's no obfuscation. It's just absolute. let's go out there. And it's basically like you wrote here. You said, where Warren said she disagreed with Senator Bernie Sanders' proposal to seize energy utilities and place them into public ownership, she just admitted, she said, you know what, I want to do something even more drastic than that. Because, see, leftists are usually lazy. They let the capitalistic market go ahead and produce something, and then they swoop in and want to tax it. They don't want to do it themselves. And she just says, I think the way we, I mean, I'm sorry, you said, I think the way we get there is we just say the fossil fuel companies, sorry, guys, but by 2035, you're done. And then you go on to say about the displaced workers in Port Arthur, Texas, they're simply going to get new infrastructure jobs. But that's how the leftists and the Democrats leave it. They just tell you all this stuff, but then they don't give you the A, Bs, and Cs of it. So, I mean, this is politics as usual, but do you think they're ever going to come out or someone's going to pin them to the wall on exactly where these displaced workers are going to go? No, I mean, I think that's the... Uh the sweet siren song of socialism is that it sounds so wonderful to uh, give everyone, as, as they call it now, the universal basic income and the guaranteed job placement. I and mean, that's really what the Trojan horse of the Green New Deal is, is to make these far-reaching, expansive promises that are far more difficult to deliver uh, that can be uh, articulated in, in such sweeping language. Uh, and the... As you mentioned, I agree that the, the party, the Democratic Party, has swung so far to the left that they don't even put a patina uh, of moderation. But that to be moderate now in the Democratic Party is to be old and worn out. And that's, I know, for a lot of younger people in particular with, with Joe Biden, why he has not, his rallies, um, his grassroots support, it's just not there. Um, is because he is not hard left enough. And that's where I think Elizabeth Warren could step in. And and she is a lot more just when you see her speak than Joe Biden. She seems to have a lot more, as our president would say, high energy. Um, and yeah, you're right. She's not even, when she says, let's just shut down the, the fossil fuel companies by 2035. Sorry, you're done. I mean, that's, you know, Obama at least had said, well, let's put some, uh, you know, carbon tax or some sequestration standards into place and you know let's let's do this incrementally but not so anymore with the democratic party here in a conservative commander's radio show our guest is carrie 
Sheffield. She's a visiting fellow at the Independent Women's Forum. She's also the national editor for Accuracy in Media. Carrie, we have to take a quick break. Could you hold on for just a few seconds for us, please? Absolutely. And this is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader, coming to you from the studios of the Conservative Commandos Radio Network. Avoid disappointment and future regret. Don't go away. We'll be back with more from our guest right after this. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. And welcome back. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nash to Shake, and yours truly, Rick Trader. I want to give a shout out to the folks who listen to us on radio stations in Jacksonville, Tampa, the Villages, Florida, Las Vegas and Reno, Macon, Georgia, Lancaster and Pittsburgh, Boulder and Colorado Springs, Milwaukee, Long Beach, California, Arlington, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and also seen on the AUN television network in Northern California, places like San Francisco, Sacramento, San Jose, Wine Country, Reading, and a few other places. Our guest this segment is Carrie Sheffield. She's a visiting fellow with the Independent Women's Forum. She's also the national editor for Accuracy in Media, AIM.org. Carrie, thank you for holding through that break. We really appreciate your time. Uh, Carrie, as, as Nasser was saying, it, the good news is these people are being blatant. They're coming out and telling us exactly what uh, what is in their hearts and minds, I think, which is different from many years before there. Really, they really seem to be embracing socialism. And um, 
In your article, you and you and Nasser pointed this out about uh, Warren said this place workers in a place like Port Arthur, Texas, can go work on infrastructure jobs. It almost reminds me of she's also taking a page out of Barack Obama's book with the shovel ready jobs. Is that how you take it also? Yeah, no, I mean, that, that was a big promise by the Obama administration was that there would be mm-hmm. green energy jobs that would revolutionize our economy. Um, and we know that collapsed. The, the clean energy sector in many respects collapsed. And so the ability for us to retrain workers and to transition them from those types of jobs that takes time, and it also takes demand in the economy, which mm-hmm. currently it doesn't. Well, you know, Carrie, I think it's a, it, it's false. I think it's a canard because you know, once once jobs are, are removed, and let's talk about Detroit as an example. Once the auto manufacturing jobs moved away, they weren't there anymore. There were no jobs for those workers. For anything, so for anybody who is in Texas, who is in the oil and gas industry, to think, oh, well, we're going to get new green jobs or we're going to get new infrastructure jobs. I, I, I think that they also should remember history, remember the shovel ready jobs that weren't there. Do you agree? Yes. Um, you know, I think we. Uh, the, the notion that infrastructure or government can employ everyone uh, is just, I mean, Margaret Thatcher would say, you know, that's at some point you run out of spending other people's money. Mm-hmm. So the more we rely on government to be the solution or the source of job creation, and look, I'm all for, uh, you know, private sector, public sector collaboration, competition, mm-hmm. competition. Uh, that's a good thing, but that's when the private sector is actually competing to provide the service versus inherently stating that this service is to be, you know, in perpetuity or that it's uh, these shovel-ready jobs, that that's sort of the the antidote uh, to joblessness. Um, That's just, you'll you'll turn into a banana republic at that point because you're, you're trying to guarantee everyone jobs and you know um, nothing is, is ever guaranteed in life. There is no free lunch. Uh, so it's we know over and over the more private sector growth, the more private sector jobs you can create, then the more people you will see lifted out of poverty. Uh, and so it's just, I mean, the the postal service, and mm-hmm. and I should also mention at this point government unions. Um, we've seen a decline in private sector union membership because. Unions, in many respects, stifle uh, innovation. They stifle creativity and dynamic uh, forces of the market. And in the government sector, when you have unions on top of that, it's an additional layer of bureaucracy, and government unions have been growing. So not only do we have the problem of relying on government for jobs, but then the additional uh, barrier that's really growing and contributing to our public pension crisis um, that is happening through public sector unions. Gary Sheffield, you know, last week they had that um, climate change summit on CNN. Unfortunately, I say, unfortunately, it was poorly watched. And I say that was unfortunate because I think the more people that tuned in to listen to the to the lunacy that is coming out of the left, for instance, Democratic contenders laid out their plans to spend any fr- anywhere from $1 trillion, that was Pete Buttigieg, to $16 trillion, that was Bernie Sanders. Now, what I think people need to understand is the federal government only takes in about $2.2 or $2.4 trillion a year. So when you're talking about spending an additional trillion dollars when you're talking about spending an additional 16 trillion dollars the way Bernie Sanders is proposing I think it's great that they're coming out with these numbers I'm just sorry more people didn't see this this lunacy that took place last week Um, Carrie am I thinking too far outside the box here 
No, I mean, you're just doing some basic math that I, I don't understand why Bernie Sanders doesn't seem to have the most, you don't need a calculator <laughs> to do that type of math to see the wide cavernous uh, gap there is between revenues and spending. And and you're right, this this Green New Deal spending is is not only unsustainable by itself, this is on top of the government takeover, takeover of healthcare that he's proposing, which is additional trillions of dollars of spending each year. Um, and it's just, I, th the thing is, so many younger people sadly have been taken in by Bernie Sanders. And mm -hmm. so uh, I'm, I'm actually, I would rather that they're doing something else than, than being taken in by uh, promises that can't be kept. And I understand, and here's the one thing that Bernie Sanders is right and why I think he resonates with a lot of younger people, uh, and that is that he strikes this nerve, and Elizabeth Warren channels it as well, um, to say that the system is rigged, that there is inherently something rigged, um, and President Trump said that too. And so in that respect, they, their messaging is similar to say that the system is rigged. But Bernie Sanders' answer is then to rig it even further, whereas mm -hmm. President Trump's answer is to unrig it and to deregulate. I was just reading uh, in the Wall Street Journal, they were talking about an estimate of the president's deregulatory agenda and how they estimated, according to the study, it was $100 billion in savings in regulations that just were not created, that would have been created under the same trajectory of Obama. So it's just... Uh, you know, the, the hypothetical of uh, the saddest word of tongue and pen is it might have been, you know, how much more growth could we have had if we had not had such a regulatory burden under Barack Obama? Um, we're seeing that unrigging happening under President Trump. And so I think that the more Republicans can talk about that kind of inherent injustice that is from a rigged system, then we can reach younger people, too. Well, Carrie Sheffield, you know, she even doubled down. And when I say she, I'm referring to Elizabeth Warren. She even doubled down on these wild cl claims that were made at the um, climate change summit on Friday. She tweeted out that on the first day of her presidency, presidency she is going to put a moratorium on all offshore leases and all leases on, on um, uh, federal lands and that she would just totally eliminate fracking and i responded to that tweet by tweeting back to her yes and on the first day of your presidency you're going to totally destroy our economy and totally destroy our way of life she's doubling down you know and and apparently she must think as well as the rest of them must think that their message is resonating out there with the public well and there is a segment of the democratic base to whom this is resonating with um and that's what's interesting we know in primaries that's that's often the case that there becomes this uh on both the left and the right a, a push more to the other side um but i think what her mistake is that she's she's pushing so far left that it'll be very difficult for her to walk this back but that, honestly, that's really who she is, though. So I don't think she'll be able to pivot because that's not fundamentally who she is. Uh, another astounding thing that I think we saw at this climate change summit was Bernie Sanders coming out and just about saying, hey, we can abort any baby up till, up till the time it draws its first breath outside the mother's womb. And he also seemed to call for... Um, uh, population control, which in my opinion was has always, always, always been one of the the missions of this new Green Deal. Do you also see his statements that way? Well, it was interesting because he was also trying to triangulate and put it in a uh, faith lens and to say that that's, uh, you know, Pete Buttigieg said that that's something that Christianity says that life begins when you take the first breath, i.e. when you're born. And that, that sort of logic is, is, I think, in some ways more pernicious than just 
you know, outright being a secular leftist who said who says they want population control to try to distort it through that lens um, is a bit even more disturbing. But uh, over and over, we see, you know, especially women when they try to say this is about empowering women, it's really not. Like if you look at history, um, abortion was pushed through by men who didn't want to be held responsible for their actions. And also the founder of Planned Parenthood, Margaret Sanger, um, was a eugenicist who didn't think that minority women, um, you know, should reproduce as much. And so it's, it, it's, it's really quite chilling, um, the way that's become normalized um, by the left. And to then add the additional layer of morality to say it's perceiving the, the climate on top of it. Um, right. It's it's really the twilight zone. Um, right. And there are so many other technologies that can so quickly, um, you know, nuclear energy was something that multiple Democrats rejected, um, even though there's zero emissions with nuclear energy. I mean, there are just so many other points that uh, we can go down. Right. Yeah. Hey, Carrie, we're going to have to save those points for another time because we're coming up uh, against a hard break. But uh, Carrie Sheffield from the Independent Women's Forum and the Accuracy in Media. Uh, Carrie, please tell our audience how they could follow your work and read your articles. Sure, absolutely. I'm on Twitter, Carrie, C-A-R-R-I-E, Sheffield, S-H-E-F-F-I-E-L-D. Um, you can go to aim.org, A-I-M dot O-R-G. And we're also hosting a dinner on November 13th in Washington. We invite all of your viewers and listeners. That is at aimgala.com, A-I-M gala.com. We've got Diamond and Silk, Dr. Ben Carson, uh, Lynn Patton, who works at HUD, uh, as well as the publisher of Video Caller, Neil Patel. So it's going to be a great crowd, and we hope you are going to join us too. All right. Well, you know, Carrie, I did send a note to uh, the people at AIM offering that uh, if you videotape your dinner there and the speeches, you know, we could talk with you at AUN TV about broadcasting it on our seven stations in California. So we might want to discuss that in the future. Sounds good. All right. Carrie Sheffield, again, thank you so much for joining us. Take care and God bless. Thank you, you too. And this is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. On the other side, we're going to be speaking with Rich Noyes. He's the research director at the Media Research Center. They did a new study about TV's war against Trump leaves little time for the Democrats. Don't go away. Nasser and I will be right back with our next guest. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. 
Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. AM FM 24-7 Roku Channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. And welcome back. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos radio show with Dr. Wright, the doctor for the Republic, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. And once again, for a rebroadcast, check out our website, ccrshow.com. That's ccrshow.com. You'll find our radio show there, our TV show there. And also like us, friend us, and follow us on Facebook and on Twitter. And with that, Nasser, we do have our first, our next guest with us. And as you always do with all our guests, make him feel welcome. Thank you, Rick. We have Rich Noyes. He's, the cur- he's currently the research director at the Media Research Center where he's the co-editor of the weekly Media Reality Check and Notable Quotables, which is basically a compilation of the latest outrageous, sometimes humorous quotes in the liberal media. Rich, welcome back to the Conserve Commandos radio show. Well, thanks so much for having me. Well, we want to talk to you about the article, Campaign 2020, TV's War Against Trump Leaves Little Time for Dems. I thought this was an excellent article. I follow a lot of things to the MRC. And... um. 
it is true. I mean, no matter what, I mean, he's getting coverage. Might not be good coverage, but it's coverage. And one of the things I wanted to ask you is you, they talk about, and I don't know if they're talking about this where they say overall the spin of his coverage during these three months um, was 90% negative. My question to you, Rich, is that um, I watch vociferously, uh, sometimes nauseatingly, <laughs> some of the alt-left, left-stream media and the Democratic State Party-controlled media stuff. But I'm just wondering, out of 838 minutes that you said of airtime, nearly 14 hours, if 10% of that is you're saying, I believe if 90 is bad coverage or, you know, negative coverage, I would assume the other 10%, is it just coverage or is it positive? Because that's 800, that's 83 minutes where it's positive. I don't even think I've heard anybody, anybody other than maybe a few people on Fox News say anything positive about President Trump. So, I mean, can you give us, a, 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 you know, an idea of where the positive spin is coming from? Yeah, well, we found some. What what we do for methodologies, we're looking at the ABC, CBS, and NBC evening newscasts. That's sort of the news that reaches the most Americans. They're not the political junkies that watch cable news all day. And again, it's 838 minutes of coverage, but a lot of that is neutral coverage. What we were looking at is evaluative comments, evaluative comments by not by Republicans saying Trump is great or Trump saying Trump is great or Democrats saying he's awful and needs to be impeached right away. But what were the journalists saying? What were the sort of nonpartisan experts and voters that they bring in to give news coverage spin, to give it sort of a, 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 a slant and an opinion? And it was, it was those statements, and I think in the summertime we had probably somewhere around 1,500 or 2,000 such statements, and it was 90% of those statements that were critical or negative of the president versus a very small number, 10%, that were positive. This is the same methodology we've used all the way, all the way through. There's a lot of coverage that's just, you know, factually based. You know, the president arrived at Andrews Air Force Base today. That's not, that's not a spin statement. The positive stuff, there was a little bit. There was, you know, voters liked the way he's handling the economy. They talked to people out there in the country who liked the way he's fighting the trade war on China, uh, people who liked the uh, criminal justice reform. That was very few and far between. It's the stuff you remember, the stuff has been repeated over and over again. This summer, a lot of it was about his fights with the squad, the, the Democratic radicals, uh, you know, suggestions that he had a racist agenda. I mean, it was it was the stuff that they were using to try to bring down uh, his presidency all along. They just did more of it this summer. And as you alluded to, we found that this was getting so much more coverage than any of the Democrats. It's the media that want to fight Donald Trump. They don't want to give the Democrats airtime to do it themselves. Well, I think the other thing is that President Trump drives their ratings more than the Democrats. So it's when you back when you back it all down to it is all about the money, correct? I think so. I mean, I you know I. I think the network EV newscast is sort of sliding a little bit compared to where it was 5, 10, 20 years ago, but it's still the biggest game in town. I think cable, certainly CNN has made a decision, to some extent MSNBC, that they're going to go all day long, every day, since Trump took office, it being the, you know, we don't like Trump channel. That's the story of the day, no matter what actually happened in the world. It was amazing to watch just uh, a few days ago. Uh, they had an actual hurricane that was threatening the East Coast, and they still carved out uh, about two and a half hours <laughs> just in a one 12-hour period to criticize Trump for a map that had a, a, a Sharpie mark on it talking about Alabama. It was old news. Nobody in Alabama was being confused by it. It, it was I, w I would have covered the story. I think it was interesting, but it didn't involve to require two and a half hours of coverage with a hurricane bearing down on the East Coast. That was putting their agenda ahead of uh, independent news judgment. Well, taking a look forward going into the latter half of this year and obviously gearing up 2020 early in the year and obviously into the elections, do you think that this is the coverage that President Trump got in 2016 and prior leading up to the uh, is Is it going to be one of the things that we haven't seen anything like this yet? Yeah, this is this is like 2015 on steroids. I mean, in, in 2015, Donald Trump, as soon as he joined the race, started getting the most coverage. He crowded out the other Republicans. 
it was the same thing. It was very negative coverage. They didn't like what he said about John McCain. They didn't like what he said about Mexicans sending rapists to America. They criticized it over and over and over again to the exclusion of virtually all the other candidates. And Trump won the primaries. Uh, he doesn't have the primaries to worry about so much this time. But it's the Democrats now who aren't getting airtime because the media are still going toe to toe with Trump. And he's getting all this extra coverage because he's president of the United States of America. It's 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 amazing to watch. And I think the media clearly think they're going to bring down Trump uh, with negative coverage. I, I would suggest they haven't done it yet. You know, the coverage can't get any more negative than it's been. So, you know, that's probably not going to happen. But they can't stop. They can't let up. They can't uh, simply go back to doing their jobs properly and let the politicians uh, fight it out. So I, I suspect we're going to see a lot of this sort of uh, uh, very negative press coverage focused on Donald Trump. And you, you're going to have to sort of figure out who the other candidates are because they're not going to get quite as much airtime. A few will, but not, not very many. You know, which perhaps, hopefully maybe you can answer this question, but this is something that's been puzzling me as I've been sort of looking into this. And that is, how is it that even like you said, you know, the main source, ABC, NBC, CBS, and then the cable news outwards like CNN and even MSNBC, how are they able to continue to, you know, get monetary, I mean, how are they able to basically, you know, get the money to continue, even though every time you see when the ratings come out, you know, there's double digit drops in their viewership, mm -hmm. double digit drops, you know, in terms of they're saying the amount of advertising, you know, that they're losing. So how are they able to continue? Are they just operating? You know, I mean, are they operating in the red or what's going on there? Well, I think there's, there's two different models going on. I think broadcast news uh, they're part of a larger empire. I mean, all the broader networks that have, you know, lots of different programs on them, entertainment shows that are, uh, you know, have, you know, high ratings. That's what makes money for the networks. The networks themselves are inside larger companies uh, that make money with, you know, Disney has theme parks that owns ABC. CBS has a lot of different channels and things like that. So, you know, the news division themselves don't have to make or break the entire company. They're not standalone entities. Cable news, CNN and MSNBC, they're in long-term subscription packages that, that cable companies pay for so many cents uh, for every single cable subscriber, whether they watch or not. Uh, you know, we don't have a la carte cable, so if no one watches CNN, but it's part of this package that's going to last five more years, uh, you know, they're going to still get paid whether they anybody watches them or not. You know, over time that can change, but, you know, I'm not sure people are going to drop CNN anytime soon over this long term that could be a major problem for them but right now they're they're still making money whether they have viewers or not interesting here on the conservative commandos radio show our guest is rich noise he's the research director at the media research center and we're discussing a a a study that mrc did that about campaign 2020 TV's war against Trump leaves little time for the Democrats. Hey, Rich, we have to take a quick break. Could you hold on for just a few moments for us, please? Sure thing. And this is the Conservative Commandos radio show. I'm Rick Trader. My co-host is Dr. Wright, the doctor for the Republic, Dr. Nasser Sheikh. And our guest is Rich Noyes from the Media Research Center. Avoid disappointment and future regret. Don't go away. We'll be right back with our guest, right after this break. AMFM 24-7 Roku Channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku Channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 247's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting 
and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. And welcome back. Welcome back to the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. We do appreciate our viewers and listeners on stations in Jacksonville, Tampa, and Villages, Florida, Las Vegas, and Reno, Macon, Georgia, Lancaster, and Pittsburgh, Boulder, and Colorado Springs, Milwaukee, Wisconsin, Long Beach, California, Arlington, Virginia, Washington, D.C., and seen on the AUN television network in places like San Francisco, Sacramento, San Jose, and um, Marin County, right in California, places north. Our guest this segment is Rich Noyes. He's the research director at the Media Research Center. And we're, discover, uh, we're discussing a fascinating report that MRC has put on about TV's war against Trump leaves little time for Democrats. Hey, Rich, thank you for holding through that break. We appreciate your time. No problem. You know, Rich, you guys... You guys at MRC to me are, are fascinating. You got the job that you guys do is is unbelievable. The fact that you do track news and to the minute, to the minute you guys figure out what they're talking about. And in your latest study, I think it's astounding, astounding from June first through August thirty first that the that the networks have dedicated 838 minutes to Trump, but I think it's also astounding how little, how little time they're giving the other candidates. In fact, you have one here that uh, Joe Biden, former vice president of the United States, during that time only got 74 minutes. Um, Kamala Harris, 30 minutes. Pete Buttigieg, 15 minutes. And Elizabeth Warren, 14 minutes. My God, if you add all their time up that they're giving the Democrats, it's, it's a, still a fraction of the time that they're giving Donald Trump. But Rich, is, does the old expression hold true for this? Even bad publicity is good for you? Well, we'll find out. I mean, you know, I would also add, you know, for this period of the Democratic race, there were two nationally televised debates they got a lot of attention on these networks as well. NBC was one of the sponsors. They did a lot of coverage of these debates. And this is all included in these totals. It's it's not very much. Uh, I think we're going to find out. I mean, I think Donald Trump has, you know, he's built his, his business career and now his political career by just finding ways to constantly stay the focus, the center of attention. He gets media coverage. A lot of it is not very favorable. It was this way in New York when the tabloids were covering him. It's this way in the national right. political scene. But somehow it keeps him uh, with a sort of a loyal core of followers who, who uh, you know, who, who stick with him. And, you know, it, it really is hard. I mean, you know, Joe, Joe Biden is not exactly a scintillating figure. And he is right now the one getting the most coverage, but is one eleventh of the coverage that uh, 
that uh, that President Trump is getting. You know, Bernie Sanders was essentially shut out of the coverage in 2015. He got 13 minutes uh, against Hillary Clinton, who was who got 10 times more coverage than he did. He got more coverage in 2015 than he's getting this year. He's even more of an afterthought this year, and he's mm-hmm. someone who won uh, more than 20 states in 2015, in 2016. So you know, this is this is a time when. Four years ago, the media were very engaged in the presidential contest. They were very engaged in the election. Now they haven't made time for it because they're busy going after Donald Trump themselves. And I think it's it's just a symptom of where the media are these days. And we'll see if, you know, there's a new debate coming up on Thursday. We'll see if that changes things. Uh, but uh, I suspect they're going to, you know, go right back to covering Donald J. Trump and the other uh, candidates are going to sort of fall by the waist unless they, you know, someday one will get the nomination. That will... Uh, become a one-on-one, but uh, until then, I don't see how they can sort of ever hope to compete with him in terms of uh, amount of coverage. Rich, can uh, you see a backlash here? I mean, just people just get so sick and tired of the media's continuously, continuously bashing Trump. They just turn out, turn off. Yeah, I think we're there. I mean, you know, mm-hmm. If you had said that a, pre- a politician was going to get 90% negative coverage at a high volume for a sustained period of time, you know, the conventional wisdom is, well, that politician's career is over. I mean, that's that's how you destroy careers. It hasn't really, de- I mean, Donald Trump doesn't have a huge upswing in, in uh, supporting the polls, but he really hasn't gone down either. He's been a very stable uh, president in terms of public support. The people who came in with him are by and large still with him. Uh, he gets majority support when it comes to things like handling the economy in spite of this fierce negative coverage. That tells me the media are not as powerful as they used to be. They've gone too far, and a lot of people have discounted their negativism as uh, nothing but partisanship and bias. Rich, uh, earlier you mentioned to Nasser that you guys, uh, the, the study took in ABC, CBS, and NBC. Why do you not also follow the cable networks? Are they well, just so so biased that um, the the numbers would be skewed even further? Well, I I, I think they they would be very uh, very biased. Uh, this is pretty biased as it is, but it's it's trying to find something where we can look at the entire election. We're looking at it from January first. This is just one part of it, but we're going to go through all of twenty nineteen and all of twenty twenty. We want to look at everything, not just a slice here and a slice there. And I don't think anybody has the uh, the resources or the stomach to do that for CNN all day long, every day, or uh, uh, MSNBC all day long, every day. It's just it's just too much. But we'll look at it from time to time, like we you know have in the past. It's also very interesting the type of things that they report on. Uh, for instance, seventy four minutes on Trump's feud with the squad. You know, I find that very interesting. Elijah Cummings, uh, an additional 22 minutes was spent serving the theories that Trump inspired the mass shootings in El Paso. So even the stories, the, 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 the number of minutes that they give particular stories and issues. But um, Russia, has the Russia story finally, is, is that finally been put to bed? It seems to be. I mean, it, it, it had one last hurrah in July when Robert Mueller uh, testified before the House, uh, but he didn't give them what they wanted, and I think it was somewhere in the three- to five-minute range. You've got the numbers in front of you. Uh, in August, I mean, it really sort of was put to one side. Uh, Democrats will try to revive it, obviously. They're, they're going to keep it going, but, you know, they're not even getting the media interested these days in the Russia story, and that's that's telling you that it's it's... You know, I think there was a quote from the New York Times uh, editors talking to their staffs a few weeks ago saying, you know, uh, with the Russia story is dead. We have to move on to the Trump as a racist story. And you really saw that in the uh, in the way the coverage was meted out in o- July and August. That's where the media are these days. They're finding something for their attacks. They've decided ahead of time. But, you know, it's, it, you know, it tells you a little bit about the quality of the last topic they picked to go go to war with. Rich Noyes, Media Research Center, we appreciate you joining us. Rich, please tell our audience how they could follow your work and and to read this entire study and all the other good things that the Media Research Center is involved with. 
Yeah, we you know we put up things every day, so it, you know it's always changing. We go to newsbusters dot org. Um, it's you know we got a team that stays into the night. We're gonna we work almost twenty four seven looking at uh, news coverage, and uh, you know there's always something to write about. You know, Rich, I can't stand to watch MSNBC, CNN, ABC. I, I, I you must pay your people really well. <laughs> to put up with that. I mean, I don't I don't know how you guys do it up, but you guys do incredible work. Again, Rich Rich Noise, thank you so much for joining us. Take care and God bless. Thank you very much. And this is the Conservative Commandos Radio Show with Dr. Wright, Dr. Nasser Sheikh, and yours truly, Rick Trader. Don't go away. Nasser and I will be back with more right after this break. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. AM FM 24-7 Roku Channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting And the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. 
Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar, and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. Well, now, sir, that just about wraps it up for today. And I really appreciate you, buddy. I appreciate you sitting in as my co-host. And uh, please tell our audience how they could follow what you do when you're not here with me on Conservative Commandos. Well, thank you, Rick. Certainly they can follow me at my email address, which is nassershakeshow1 at gmail.com if they want to email me. Or they can go to Facebook at The Nasser Shake Show. That's The Nasser Shake Show. Or on Twitter at, at Nasser Shake Show. And I want to thank our guests. Our first guest was all the way we had him from India was Vijay Jayaraj, who uh, graduated from the University of East Anglia with a master's in environmental science. And he was talking to us about the hurricane, Hurricane Dorian, and how it was a hijack of the media and basically alarmist in terms of climate change. So that was Vijay Jayaraj. And then we always want to thank Carrie Sheffield, who's a visiting fellow from the Independent Women's Forum. Carrie was talking to her about an article that she had written, which was Elizabeth Warren makes a mistake that Hillary Clinton did. And finally, we had Rich Noyes, who is currently the research director for the Media Research Center. Rich was talking to us about a study that the MRC has put together. Fascinating. You folks have got to go there, see the numbers. Absolutely, Absolutely incredible. But it was about campaign 2020 and TV's war against Trump leaves little time for the Dems. It is a great, great tool to utilize uh, when you're using these discussions against um, you know, the, fellow, the people on the other side, Indeed. as we like to say sometimes. <laughs> <laughs> That's being nice saying it that way, Nasser. Because remember, when you're right, you're right. When you're left, you're wrong. There you go, buddy. But for right now, we are out of time. We got to run. We got to go. Take care. God bless. We will see you tomorrow on TV and on radio. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002.
Everybody wants cheap airfare, but where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. Police suicides are way up, 123 so far this year, plus another 80 killed in the line of duty. The morale among the police departments is at an all-time low, and we need to revisit this. We need to be sure that we can give the police the confidence that they need and the support that they need to do their dangerous jobs. Black lives matter, but so do blue ones. We're approaching a situation like we had in the 60s and 70s, where the police are so shackled by the courts and by politics that they can't do their job. When a person who might be carrying a gun approaches a police officer, he's not allowed to stop and frisk them. He just has to let him come, and even at potentially the risk of his own life. It's very important that we let the police in America know that we're behind them, that we support them, and that we appreciate the job that they're doing. And we need to review the whole manual of police procedures so that we're sure that officers can defend themselves and that they are not victimized and vilified for doing their jobs. The number of police suicides and the uh, line of duty deaths, which is approaching an all-time record, is a statistic and a fact that cannot and should not be ignored. Thanks for watching. Have you been leasing a property for your business or renting storage space? Are you tired of paying rent year after year? Call the experts at General Steel to own a building at up to 30% off now. I'd been renting a building and paying someone else's mortgage, but General Steel showed me how I could own a space tailored to the needs of my business and for less than renting. Call General Steel now at the number on your screen for our current building specials and to price your metal building system today. My building's the dream I've had since finishing my house 14 years ago. I've been using it for a garage, workshop, and storage area for my tools and equipment, and I can't believe how great it turned out. The economy is improving, and the price of steel is expected to rise. Stop waiting. It could cost you thousands. Call General Steel now to see how you can own for less than you thought. Stop waiting to start your business or expand your operation. Call General Steel now. Call 877-484-7002. Everybody wants cheap airfare, 
But where do you find it? You call low-cost airlines. Their prices are direct from the airlines, and they're so low you can't find these fares published anywhere. They specialize in cheap flights, discount hotel rooms, cheap car rental rates, and great package deals anywhere around the world. Wherever you want to go, they can help you get there cheaply and with the best price guarantee. If you want the lowest prices on your airline tickets or other travel services, call now. That's right, call. That's the only way to get these rates. Experts are standing by 24-7 to get you the cheapest airfare and hotel rates available. So don't wait. Call right now for the lowest travel prices anywhere and for great last-minute travel deals, too. Call 888-431-0562. That's 888-431-0562. 888-431-0562. Friend, do you remember when it felt good to withdraw your cash from the bank to expand a business, go on vacation, or buy a new car? Well, today, withdrawing your own cash has become a very risky business, according to The Secret War, a shocking new research report. I just read it, and folks, I was amazed to learn why banks are now required to spy on us for the government and then report any suspicious or unusual behavior. I suggest you get The Secret War free. Just call the number on the screen, no charge, from the folks at Swiss America and get this. Did you know simply spending cash today may be enough to have you branded as a potential criminal? That's right. The new war on cash is really a war against all freedom-loving Americans. The secret war is yours free, so call the number on the screen and you can tell them. Pat Boone gave you the number. AM FM 24-7 Roku Channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. Kamala Harris is taking heat for laughing and agreeing with a man who made a very politically incorrect statement about President Trump. Meanwhile, the president is having fun with Sharpie Gate at the media's expense, and the new jobs report shows an economy in which there are actually more jobs than workers to fill them. All that and more. I'm Bobby Eberly. This is a 13-minute news hour. And God bless the United States of America.
All right, friends, welcome to the show. I hope you had a great weekend. And before we jump in, I just have to tell you about my friends over at Bottle Breacher. You guys need to check them out. They have the best in man gifts and promotional items, basically stuff for dudes. Just go to BottleBreacher.com, use coupon code BOBBY13-A1 for 20% off your next purchase. That's BottleBreacher.com, coupon code BOBBY13-A1. All right, so we are going to start with Kamala Harris because she is not having a good time these days. And it's past, it's her present, it's a little bit of everything and we'll get into it. So we're going to talk about her past because the Washington Examiner has a really interesting story about her time as district attorney for San Francisco. And it turns out, according to their report, that she withheld information, evidence, on multiple occasions that could have exonerated various suspects. And here is the report, which just shows, because again, this is this is one of her cornerstones of her her experience. And it shows that it's not a very firm foundation. Check this out. Between 2004 and 2010, Harris's office failed to inform defense attorneys about criminal and professional misconduct records that raised questions about the credibility of government witnesses. The lapses led to the dismissal of nearly 1,000 cases and a scathing 2010 ruling by a Superior Court judge that accused Harris's office of breaching due process rights. Legal scholars told the Washington Examiner that Harris's office appeared to have violated the Supreme Court's 1963 Brady v. Maryland decision. The ruling held that prosecutors must turn over potentially exculpatory evidence to the defense. So how could this happen? I mean, again, she uses her experience, this experience as district attorney, as one of her main talking points, one of her main pieces of credibility. So was this just a netness? Was it corruption? I mean, the Washington Examiner has more. Check this out. It says, there's a clear causal link between Brady violations and wrongful conviction, said Craig Trainer, a New York attorney who specializes in due process cases. The reasons for failure to disclose exculpatory evidence range from bad faith to inexperience to excessive caseloads to a tunnel vision to get the guilty defendant at all costs to rank politics, as we see in Kamala Harris's case, he said. So... Again, that's her past, and it's coming up to bite her, um, but her present isn't doing much better either. This weekend, uh, Friday, she was speaking in New Hampshire, and a man came up and made a comment about President Trump. He basically said, how can we, what can you do to help us handle this retarded guy's actions? And did she say that, oh, sir, you know, that's not really appropriate to say, you know, I disagree with the president, but we should still respect him? Not exactly. Check this out. I mean, what are you going to do in the next one year to diminish the mentally retarded action of this guy? (laughs) Well said. (laughs) Well said. Well said? That's her response is well said and laughing. So she was asked about this on the news, of course, and her response was somewhere between insincere and lame. Check this out. Did you hear him? I heard him talk about the other stuff, and then that came later, and it was not something that I really heard or processed or, you know, um, or in any way condoned. So she heard him talk about other stuff, but later she didn't hear or process what she said? Yet she laughed and said, well said. Here, one more time. I mean, what are you going to do in the next one year to diminish the mentally retarded action of this guy? (laughs) Well said. (laughs) Well said. So, of course, there was blowback and criticism. And later on, she probably met with her staffers and said, do you realize that you are laughing at a guy calling the president retarded? So... Her team, she issued a a tweet on her official Twitter account, and here's what she wrote. She said, when my staff played the video from my town hall yesterday, it was upsetting. I didn't hear the words the man used in that moment, but if I had, I would have stopped and corrected him. I'm sorry. That word and others like it aren't acceptable, ever. Yet, you laughed at it, you acknowledged it, and you said, well said. So, again, the combination of her past and her present 
is probably the reason why she's falling in the polls right now and is not the, the vaunted front runner that everyone was talking about just a few months ago. Meanwhile, President Trump is having fun with the media. And it's just as on Friday, we talked about Sharpie Gate, how he mentioned Alabama could possibly be in the path of Dorian, got criticized up and down from the media for just mentioning that. So then he held a press conference in the Oval Office, shows a hurricane chart. It's got parts of Alabama circled in Sharpie and the media just went nuts. They thought it was some grand conspiracy, some law breaking, some falsifying or altering documents. Here's just one example. This is from ABC News. Check this out. President Trump is facing new questions over that false hurricane forecast he sent to his Twitter followers. In the Oval Office yesterday, he tried to defend the tweet with an official map that had been falsified with a handwritten mark. So again, ABC is just one of many news outlets. CNN was particularly bad. Jake Tapper and others talking about it with all the seriousness in the world. How can the president do this? We showed Rachel Maddow saying the president was flat out lying. Others are suggesting that he was actually breaking the law. CNN was so bad. And so the president on his official Twitter account posted this meme the other day. I'm sure the CNN just just love that one. But what cracks me up is that they get so fired up. They get so emotional and just out of control. Like their heads are exploding, the people on the left, when it comes to President Trump. And I wouldn't doubt it if he actually put that circle there on purpose. It's like, hey, I'm going to give a press conference. I'm going to show this chart and talk about Alabama and we're going to show official chart, but let's just go ahead and put like just a we're going to put a partial circle around parts of Alabama and just watch them freak out. OK, I mean, it's just a circle around the thing in Sharpie. And yet they are absolutely going nuts. And I bet he was just sitting back, you know, take, kicking his feet up and saying, yep, look, just watch him go because they are just absolutely rabid about Trump and trying to bring him down. And they will use something like this, like Sharpie Gate, in order to attack him. It's just, it's just crazy. Meanwhile, the president is actually doing his job and helping the economy. And the results show the uh, August job report just came out on Friday. And Andy Puzder, who used to be CEO for a company that owns restaurants like Hardee's and Carl's Jr., put out a great op-ed on Sunday talking about the report. And here are some of his comments. He said, the unemployment rate held at 3.7% near a 50-year low. Unemployment among African Americans and Hispanics also hit all-time lows last month, proving that the ongoing economic boom is still creating unprecedented opportunity for all U.S. workers. Average hourly earnings increased at a healthy clip as well, growing by 3.2% since last August. It was the 13th month in a row that wages increased by at least 3% year over year. That's tremendous news for American workers. Prior to this streak, wages last increased at at least 3% in April of 2009. Wage increases were better for workers than managers, while the hour, hourly wage increased 2% for managers and increased an impressive 3.5% for workers. And to kind of sum up the state of the economy, Puzder said this recently, or this weekend on Fox Business Channel. Check this out. For 18 months, businesses have been complaining they can't find enough workers. We have 7.3 million job openings and only 6 million people unemployed. That's 1.3 million more job openings than people unemployed. So there are actually more jobs than workers to fill them. This is the situation that we are in right now. 3.7% unemployment is basically considered by anyone who follows this full unemployment. There is a job for a person who wants to work. That's the situation out there. And that leads us to Joe Biden, who was in New Hampshire talking. And he said that he decided that, you know, with this jobs report, that it was a good time to talk about President Trump in the economy and it, uh, how it's teetering on the brink of recession. Check this out. This is from Fox News. It says Biden, the front runner in the Democratic presidential nomination, argued that President Trump is becoming more erratic in dealing with an economy that's teetering on a recession. 
Biden said, the president is feeling pressure on the economy. He inherited a pretty good economy from Barack Obama, just like he inherited everything in his life. Okay, so first of all, you've got Joe Biden being the one that's saying President Trump is becoming more erratic. And then of all the issues to attack the president on, he picks the economy, okay? There, there's more jobs than workers right now, all right? Unemployment is at historic lows. Wages are up for everybody. So when Alexandria Ocasio-Cortez or some of these other candidates say that it's only helping the upper, it's flat out wrong. Just look at the numbers. Wages are increasing across the board. Wages are increasing better for workers than managers. And unemployment is at historic lows. So, and, and then Biden decides to go after the economy. It, it makes no sense. And it makes me wonder, how can he possibly still be leading in, in the polls? I don't understand it. His lead has shrunk because, again, every time he opens his mouth, a new gaffe comes out, a new, you know, flat out lie when he talks about the economy and things like that. Yet he's still leading. ABC and Washington Post just had a poll and it was just the the results are are interesting that the lead is holding it is shrunk but biden is leading by 29 percent over bernie sanders at 19 percent and elizabeth warren at 18. kamala harris who we talked about at the beginning of the show is at seven percent which represents a six percent drop from the last time two months ago i believe that the abc and washington post did their last poll so she has gone down to seven percent sinking like a rock. No one else is above 4%. That's Pete Buttigieg. And Beto O'Rourke is at 3%, tied now with Andrew Yang. So that shows how far he has fallen. So Biden clings to about a 10% lead. And most of that is driven from the fact that the Democrats think that Biden is the one who can beat Trump. So is that enough to carry him through the actual primaries? Or Will someone that more carries the left wing, the far left mantle, be the person who emerges to take on Trump? It's a big decision for the Democrats. Right now, they are being driven hard by people like the squad, AOC and Ilhan Omar and these others that are driving the party to the left. And the Democrat candidates are you know, coming on board, but you still have Biden leading. So we'll see where that leads. But anyway, sh folks, that's our show for today. Please subscribe, and when you do, please hit that bell so you'll be notified, and we'll see you on Wednesday. I'm Bobby Eberly. This is a 13-Minute News Hour. Okay, friends, just a little reminder before you go, and no, this does not count against my 13 minutes. Please hit the subscribe button below and tell your friends. And if you happen to miss our last show, you can check it out right here. And also for great conservative news and commentary, please check out GOPUSA.com. All right, folks, we'll see you on the next show. Have a great day. AM FM 24-7 Roku channel broadcasts all of our shows on demand. To ensure reliability, we store and stream our content on the same servers as Netflix and Amazon. Our Roku channel is free to use, and anyone owning one of the more than 10 million Roku devices can watch our channel at no cost whatsoever. If you have a television show or are thinking about producing a show, you can be a part of AMFM 24-7's Roku channel. Watch our great shows on your Roku device. It's free and more reliable than cable TV. Are you stuck with a timeshare? Did you attend the presentation and were seduced and enticed into buying that great vacation and investment? Now you're in the terrible position of trying to figure out a way to get out of that mess. You're not alone. For over 15 years, BuyYourTimeshare.com has been helping people like yourself get out of timeshare ownership. The fact is there is no resale market. Unscrupulous telemarketers call you and say they have buyers waiting and the next thing that happens is you give them hundreds of dollars for an ad and you'll never hear from them again. Another fact is that an identical timeshare to yours is being offered on eBay for a dollar and no one is buying it. If you want out of your timeshare, I urge you to go to buyyourtimeshare.com or call them at 877-94-HELP-ME. That number again is 877-94-HELP-ME. Buyyourtimeshare.com. That's buyyourtimeshare.com. 877-94-HELP-ME. Dish TV is better than cable TV. Here's why. 
Dish has the nation's lowest TV price, along with an award-winning DVR that can skip commercials, record eight shows at once, and get access to thousands of movies at your fingertips. Cable simply can't even compare. So the smart choice is to cut the cable and get Dish. Plus, you get all these great TV features, free HD DVR upgrade, free installation, and free movie channels. Say goodbye to cable and get more with Dish TV. 877-290-7764. 877-290-7764. As an added bonus, you can switch to Dish now and receive a $50 Visa gift card. So call now and get Dish TV. Call 877-290-7764, 877-290-7764. That's 877-290-7764. Limited time offer, 24-month commitment, and credit qualification required. Cancellation fee, monthly equipment fees, and other restrictions apply. Promotion can change at any time. Police suicides are way up, 123 so far this year, plus another 80 killed in the line of duty. The morale among the police departments is at an all-time low, and we need to revisit this. We need to be sure that we can give the police the confidence that they need and the support that they need to do their dangerous jobs. Black lives matter, but so do blue ones. We're approaching a situation like we had in the 60s and 70s, where the police are so shackled by the courts and by politics that they can't do their job. When a person who might be carrying a gun approaches a police officer, he's not allowed to stop and frisk them. He just has to let them come, and even at potentially the risk of his own life. It's very important that we let the police in America know that we're behind them, that we support them, and that we appreciate the job that they're doing. And we need to review the whole manual of police procedures so that we're sure that officers can defend themselves and that they are not victimized and vilified for doing their jobs. The number of police suicides and the uh, line of duty deaths, which is approaching an all-time record, is a statistic and a fact that cannot and should not be ignored. Thanks for watching.